girls. Hi. Welcome to Junior Harvesters Show. My name is Teacher Brian. And I am Teacher Esther. And before we begin, we are going to have a word of prayer. Let's put our hands together and let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you this day. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your love and your care upon our lives, O oh Lord. This day we just want to come before you even as we start our show. We pray that for our minds, O oh Lord, may you give us understanding, O oh my Father. We pray that in everything we are going to do today, it shall bring glory and honor to your name. We bless your name and we worship your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Wow, I hope you had a beautiful week. I myself, I had, I enjoyed uh, my week. And what about you, Teacher Esther? I had an awesome, awesome week. You know what? I learned a new art. What did you learn? I learned how to do some crocheting. And my work is ongoing. I'll show you next time. Wow, we can't wait to see what Teacher Esther is doing. I hope you enjoyed your week as well. And now, we are going straight to our worship, praise and worship session. And also, we are going to our dance. Let's stay tuned. Oh, Amen. yeah. Miracles when you move, such an easy thing for you to do. Your hand is moving right now You are still showing up at the tomb of every Lazarus Your voice is calling me out Right now, I know you're able My God, come through again You can do all things can do all things but fail cause you've never lost a battle no you've never lost a battle and I know I know you never will you can do all things you can do all things but fail cause you've never lost a battle no you've never lost a battle and I know I know you never will Everything is possible by the power of the Holy Ghost A new wind is blowing right now Breaking my heart of stone, splattering over like a Jericho My walls are all crashing down my God, I know you're able. My God, come through again. You can do all things. You can do all things but fail. Cause you've never lost a battle. No, you've never lost a battle. And I know, I know. You never will You can do all things You can do all things but fail Cause you've never lost a battle No, you've never lost a battle And I know, I know You never will You've never lost a battle You've never lost a battle You've never lost a battle and you never will. You've never lost a battle. You've never lost a battle. You've never lost a battle. And you never will. You can do all things. You can do all things but fail Cause you've never lost a battle No, you've never lost a battle And I know, I know You never will 
you can do all things you can do all things but fail cause you've never lost a battle no you've never lost a battle and i know i know you never will i know i know you never will i know i know you never will Hi boys and girls, did you enjoy the worship? So right about now you're going to do a dance. So stand up, put on your dancing shoes, let's dance. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed our dance. Nothing is impossible. And God is never going to lose any battle. Oh yes, that was awesome. And now straight away, we're going to send you to our activities for the day. I hope you enjoy. And it's going to be fun. Hi boys and girls. Hope you had a good week. It's activity time. And with me here, I have teacher Joanne and teacher Jackie. So today we're going to do something interesting. With me here, I have pegs with different colors. So I'm going to blindfold the teachers and the one who is going to pick the most pegs with the same color is going to be the winner. So let's start.
So in three, two, one, start. Stop. So, let me untie you. <laughs> and now we are going to count. Let's see who is going to win. So who is the winner? Hmm. And the winner is Teacher Joan. <laughs> My name is Nathaniel Kipkoske. My name is Natasha Jebet. And we, we have, have a memory bus. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 8, eight. it says, Abraham had faith and, and obeyed, obeyed God. God. He was told to go to the land, the land that God said would be his. He left for another country that he had never seen. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Alpha Ochoki. I have a memory verse. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 8. It, it says, Abraham had faith and obeyed God. He was told to go to the, to the land that God said would be his. And he, and he left for a country he had never seen. Thank you. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 8. It says, Abraham had faith and, and obeyed God. He was told to go to a land that God had said would be his, and he left for a country he had never seen. Did you enjoy today's activity? Oh, yes, I did. It was very much fun. I see also you can remember what you learned last time. Yes, and right now it's time for Bible story. By the way, who is our teacher for Bible story today? Our teacher for Bible story today is... Teacher, teacher Gladys. Gladys. Welcome, Teacher Gladys. Hello, boys and girls. It's another great time. I'm happy to see you. My name is Teacher Gladys, and I hope you're keeping well. We want to learn something new today. Are you ready at home? I want you to have your Bible ready. I can see you're running for it, your notebook and your pen. Very good. So before we keep them aside, before we start, I want all of us to rise up and do a small activity. Are we upstanding? Good. Now I want us to breathe in deeply. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in again. Hold your breath for five seconds. What did you feel? Can you see there you're breathing? No, we cannot see it, but we believe we are breathing. So now you can be seated so that we can do our lesson. So today we want to learn about faith. And faith is believing in God even for the things you cannot see and you cannot explain. And we want to learn about a man who asked Jesus to increase his faith. Are we ready? So our today's lesson is on bringing everything to God in prayer. Did you write that? 
bringing everything to God in prayer. And our Bible story comes from the Bible, from the book of Mark, chapter 9, verses 14 to 32. Mark, chapter 9, verses 14 to 32. And I just want us to read through together as we understand what happened. When Jesus was going about preaching to people and he had come from praying, he came and he met a crowd. And the people there were arguing and he was wondering, what are they arguing about? And so a man came out from the crowd and came and said, teacher, can you please heal my son? He has an evil spirit that keeps on disturbing him. And when it attacks him, he falls on the ground, he writhes in pain, he forms from his mouth. And I brought him to your disciples and they were not able to heal him. And Jesus was not happy with his disciples and he asked them, you people of unbelief, for how long am I going to be with you? And he told the father, bring the son to me. And the son was brought. When the demon, when the evil spirit saw Jesus, it recognized him and it attacked the boy again. The boy fell on the ground. He started shaking. He was removing foam in his mouth. And Jesus just looked at him and he asked his father, for how long has he been like this? And the father said, since he was a child, the spirit has thrown him into fire, into water, always trying to kill him. And the father said to Jesus, please have mercy on us and help us if you can. And Jesus told the father, what do you mean if I can? Everything is possible if only you can believe. And the father said, oh, I have little faith. Please help me have some more. And at that point, Jesus commanded the evil spirit. And he, he talked to the boy and said, come out of the boy and don't bother him again. And the evil spirit obeyed. It knew who Jesus was. And immediately after that, it made the boy to scream and it left him. And the boy was left lying there. Jesus went and lifted him up and he rose up and he was healed of the evil spirit. Have we learned that from the Bible? So for us today, we want to learn that God is powerful than any evil spirit. Our God is an all-powerful God. He is more powerful than any evil spirit. And when we have faith in God, we should not fear any demon, any evil spirit, because we know our God is more powerful. Are we learning at home? The other thing we have learned from that story is that God is faithful. He listens to us. He hears our prayers and he answers us according to his will. So whenever we pray, we should always pray to be in the will of God. When we pray to be in his will, we will always be able to benefit when he answers our prayers, not according to what we want, but according to his will. In life, sometimes we face very difficult situations. Like you see the story of the father of the boy, he had tried everything and it was just looking like it was not going to be possible. But with God, when we have faith, when we believe, nothing is impossible with our God. So we should always believe and have faith that whatever is going happening in our lives, whatever we are going through, there is nothing we cannot bring to God in prayer. We bring all our issues to God in prayers. When we pray, we should take time and also listen to what God is says, because God speaks to us. So when we pray, we should always try and listen to what God is saying, because that is how we are able to know when we are in his will. Are we learning? Very good. So for today, I want us to do a small exercise from the Bible story we have learned. I want to take your notebook and your pen and write down these questions. Then you can answer them at your own time, just to see whether you have understood what we are talking about faith. Question number one, what was wrong with the boy? 
Question number one, what was wrong with the boy? Question number two, how did the boy's father show his faith? How did the boy's father show his faith? Question number three, how did the demon respond to Jesus? Question number three, how did the demon respond to Jesus? And now question number four, I want us to make it personal. You write down there four areas in your life where you want God to increase your faith. Question number four, write down four areas in your life where you want God to increase your faith. Very good, we have written down the questions. Now I want us to do a summary of just the lessons we have learned from today's Bible story. And lesson number one, we have learned that God is powerful more than any evil spirit. God is powerful more than any evil spirit. Point number two, God is faithful and he hears our prayers when we pray and answers according to his will. God is faithful and he hears our prayers when we pray and he answers according to his will. Very good. Point number three, we just learned that whenever we pray, we should be able to take time and hear what God is saying. Whenever we pray, we should be able to take time and listen to what God is saying. I'm very sure you have written down those points. So as you go about repeating, just ask God to increase your faith so that whatever situation you're going through in life, there is nothing that is impossible to God. You just need to present your situation to God in prayer. And as you pray, take time to listen to what God is saying. And we believe that if we have faith, there is no situation we'll ever go through that we cannot bring to God in prayer. Very good. I'm happy you have had those notes. And until next time, bye. Did you enjoy our Bible lesson today? Yes, I did. What did we learn? I have learned to have faith in God. And also in everything, we can ask God. If we only have faith, great things can happen. And what was the memory verse of today? Our memory verse for today comes from the book of Luke, Chapter 17 and verse 6, the Lord answered, if you had faith, even as little as a mustard seed, you could say to this mulberry tree, may you be uprooted and be planted in the sea, and it will obey you. God bless you children. Today we have learned about our faith, and it is going to grow to another level. And last week, we, uh, you sent us an amazing job. You did an awesome job it in your was side awesome. Well. Nice. Mm -hmm. So this week, we are hoping to see your assignment. Yes. Please send it to our WhatsApp community. And also, we are, we are ready to receive your video clips, dancing, and your memory verso in our WhatsApp community. Yes. Yes, true. Everybody, don't forget to send your work. We'll be ready and waiting for you. And before we go, we just want to give God thanks. Let us thank the Lord. God, as we come before you, Almighty Father, we thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for this lesson. Thank you for the boys and girls who are at home, Almighty Father. As we begin this new week, may you bless their parents. May you be with them. May you protect them and cover them all, Lord. We do pray, believing in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It has been an awesome time yes. having you around. Thank you for tuning in. And I hope that whatever you have learned, you will put into practice. So until next time, bye-bye.